bad SCP-3887. Everybody saying it's crazy, so we're going to check it out. Hit it with a like for me. Shout out to the foundation. Let's go ahead and jump right straight into it, bro, for me. Hey, SCP fans. Make sure to check out our new board game, SCP Escape. Available now. At y'all got a new, y'all got a board game? Y'all crazy. Excuse me. real it's not real it's not real it's not what the hell uh, hello is is someone there donna donna <clears throat> donna i was asking if you were ready for your interview yes yes i'm ready um um, is this fully colored? Chat. Yo, these niggas got to upgrade in a budget and she, bro, this is fully colored on baby. Hold it up. Hold it up, bro. Y'all ain't peep. This fully colored. Sorry. I was having that dream again. Interesting. This shit coming to life. Whoa, chat. Y'all ain't even peep. Bro, what y'all doing, bro? Pay attention, bro. Y'all still on that fofa? Come on, bro. Okay. You'll have to up the dose of your medication. No, please. I'm fine. I insist. The sedatives will help you sleep. I was just up late talking with her last night. Anything? Oh, Mars my baby a little, okay, a little Middle Eastern. Because of the hair texture, gotta be. My little, okay. All right. Okay, let me see some characters, bro. I gotta see some characters. Since we coloring, I need to see the whole lineup, Mentioning? bro. This transition has just been hard on both of us. Talking has always been how we work through the changes. Sounds so strange, you know. Never thought I'd say my boogeyman is my BFF. <laughs> Cause you said I gotta go back. They didn't see the th the thickness. Whose thickness? Who was y'all looking at? Damn. Buck got that Phineas nose. God damn, that shit long as hell. It's a long ass L. That shit dirty. I ain't gonna cap. My baby to the right looking straight though. She don't got no toes. Look at her. Look at her. She don't got no toes, bro. They forgot to give her toes, bro. <laughs> she don't got no toes. What the hell? I was trying to see, you know, if you find for me. I was asking if you are ready for your interview. Yes. Yes, I'm ready. Sorry. I was having that dream again. You said, cause you like toes. I mean, no. But if a girl goes out her way to get her feet done and her nails done, I'm going to look at it. Feel me? If I'm paying to get your nails and feet done, I'm going to look at the end result. Y'all know nothing about that, bro. What the Interesting. You'll have to up the dose of your medication. No, please. Uh, John wasn't even thick. She just has some really big legs. I'm fine. <laughs> Built like a... Like <laughs> Yo, what's them niggas called from Transformers? Oh, Autobots. Get the fuck I, out of here, nigga. I insist. The sedatives will help you sleep. I was just up late talking with her last night. Anything worth mentioning? This transition has just been hard. On both of us. Talking has always been how we work through the changes. Sounds so strange. I, no. Yo. Never thought I'd- Y'all gonna stop it right now, bro. Y'all gonna stop it right now. Say my boogeyman is my BFF. Trust me, if you saw what we did on a regular basis, you wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. <clears throat> <laughs> anyway, um, shall we proceed with the interview? Sure. Great. Um, do you think SCP-3887-B would be willing to join us for this conversation? Oh, I don't think that's such a good idea. And why is that? Well, as you know, Grenda feeds on fear. Since I've been pretty much disconnected from anything that would have caused me anxiety, she's been getting, well, hungrier. I'm sure we can find some sort of a solution to SCP-3887-B's insatiable appetite. You can call her Grenda if you'd like. I'd rather not. It's best not to humanize the anomalies. It is SCP-3887-B, and you are SCP-3887-A. I didn't ask to come here. I was living a normal life until- Until what? 
Until your boogeyman decided to tear your boyfriend's limbs off? She thought I was in danger. Yeah, my fault, chat. My fault, chat. My fault, chat. Snapped my neck way too hard. Yeah, now I got my curtains open and shit. You feel me? I, I ain't never gonna be caught lacking. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Let me plug it in. Yeah, Dr. Buck be acting weird for no reason, right? Like, that attitude. She need to go. She need to go ahead. Oh, what in the world, bro? I just put the video back on. And decided to tear your boyfriend's limbs off? She thought I was in danger. She was defending me. She thought... Yes, it was defending you, but under the same principle, when your dog bites the neighbor, it gets put down. Since we have chosen observation over euthanization, you'll have to understand I don't feel the least bit sympathetic towards... Yeah, what's up with, like, these SCP videos lately? They just been... They don't care about gore no more, bro. They just been going for it, bro. That's tough. It's your situation. You don't know her. You don't know me. Yes, nor do I want to. I don't get in the habit of forming relationships with test subjects. If I may interject, I'd really like to get back to the interview, Dr. Buck. By all means. Take it away, Dr. Collingwood. <clears throat> So, <laughs> how old were you when you first made contact with SCP-3887-B? I can't quite remember what age, but I was a kid. You know, the regular age to be afraid of things that go bump in the night. I'd see her talons creeping out my toy chest, or her shark-like teeth smiling ear to ear in the closet. But the place she loved to hide the most was under the bed. That's where she lives. Some place we can't see. Under there. Huh. Sounds like some sort of spatial anomaly. Huh. Did the being ever hurt you? Other than scarfing down a few of my socks here and there, Grenda wouldn't hurt a fly. For, for the most part. She's different than the rest of her kind. Could you elaborate on that? There are others? Not that I've seen firsthand. But from what Grenda tells me, yes. They feed on fear. But... Others have cravings that go beyond that. And when did your relationship with 3887-B change? I started to see her less and less as I got older. What else would you expect, right? When I was around 14, I think maybe 15, she came back. It was late at night, my parents were arguing as usual, and I hid in my room. I was close to the bed and she touched me. I was scared shitless, but then we talked. Uh-huh. What do you talk about? This and that. My life was being flipped upside down. My parents' divorce, trouble at school. Just when I was going through the motions, she was there as my best friend. Strange, I know. The embodiment of my childhood fears as my confidant. But it's almost therapeutic in a sense. Overcoming that trauma. Hey, bro. That's some, that's some Monster Inc. type shit, you feel me? I'm, I'm loving this right here. I'm loving this. I'm loving this, bro. Uh, you feel me? Looking it in the eyes and realizing I was misinterpreting my fear all along. Huh. Interesting. But it's a double-edged sword. It's the reason for Grenda's suffering. <sighs> I wish I could be afraid again. Just to help her get by. She's... She's starving. Mm, pity. Hmm. Hmm. Well, perhaps we can get Grenda some more socks. I'm sorry, Dr. Collingwood, but her hunger has surpassed that. How many idiots does it take to change a light bulb? Oh, huh, that's strange. Well, the backup generator should kick in any minutes. <clears throat> Why the hell is this door locked? Hello? Guards? Dr. Buck? Are you okay? Yes, it's fine. I just want the door unlocked. She's hungry. Oh, no, 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 Bro, stop playing, 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 stop playing. What? Nah, uh. Nah, uh. Nah, uh. What is this? Stop. So much anger inside you. And so many scars. But also, fear for something else or someone else. Let me 
out of here or so help me Donovan. You ain't about to do nothing! Wicked guy, you see what I do to those who threaten me. You have no control. This is my own. I will do exactly as I please. And I'd be pleased to end your suffering once and for all. You... You can't. Mm -hmm. Say it. It will be your last words, you horrible bitch. You will die here, alone, scared, never amounting to anything, forgotten, alone, scared. <laughs> A disappointment. Hey, yo! Powerless, forgotten, angry. She on her head! She broke down Dr. Buck! There's something wrong. My experience. It is all so very wrong. As if nothing was ever right at all. Don't you feel the walls closing in? Perhaps it is just me. But this room got a lot larger a few minutes ago, did it not? And the breath, it feels shallow, faint. Is there enough oxygen in here? I'm starting to feel lightheaded in my cell. I think, I think I'm hyperventilating, twisting, horrible pain, and there's no exit back to get through. There I go. Stop it! Oh, yeah. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's like to die in darkness, cold, alone, and scared. The last breath is gone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this thing is toxic, right? <laughs> oh. Nothing. Come with this eternal dark. Just as powerless and afraid. As a little girl all those years ago, nothing ever changed. Stop it, please. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Please, please. Dr. Buck, are you okay? Dr. Buck! W. W. Go crazy. Go crazy. Go crazy, Tell the Foundation. Go crazy. Full colored, beautiful story. Go absolute bonkers, mate. This is excellent. Whoa, that shit brought out my UK accent. What the fuck? <laughs> my 21 Savage. What the hell, bro?